it is true that I was robbed of 300,000 Nigerian Naira. This is not a clickbait. This is what happened to me. Hey guys, it's Beatrice Dead Archibong, socially known as Lee Beatrice Archibong. If you're seeing my face for the first time, welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome to my channel. Guys, from the title of this video, this is not a clickbait. This is not me just trying to get your attention. This is my story. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm just going to turn it like it is like straight from my heart guys, please you begin to hear voices from the background please i stay close to people and noises some of them talk a lot so the voices might be in the video forgive me for that my immediate elder sister katrin schooled in ghana and i was in nigeria so i used to be the person that my dad would give the money for me to go and pay into our account and all of that so there came this time where she needed money for upkeep and uh like usual i'm always the one going to pay in the money into our account this day was quite different because my dad called me from home that she meet him up at the bank and guys this is Portacourt, Nigeria. This happened in Portacourt, Nigeria. My dad called me to come to the bank and meet him up. So I went to the bank and I met him up and he gave me money. And he told me um, the money was for my sister's upkeep. I was like, okay. And <clears throat> before I go to the bank, I think I encountered those checkup and it was a long queue. My dad was already inside and they it was just some crazy mad queue i don't like you honestly i really really don't like you so they have to check and do all those stuff and they wasted my time and finally i got into the bank and i saw my dad my dad cashed the money and um he gave me the money and that was in my bank i had to go to a different bank but he said i should pay the money the next day you see <laughs> This is crazy. Is I should pay the money the next day. I bank with I don't need to mention the bank, but I bank with a different bank and he said I should pay the money tomorrow. So he, he put the money or they put the money in a bag. Three hundred thousand. And I think it was five hundred naira notes if I'm not mistaken because it was big. So they put the money in a bag or will I say waterproof for me. So I carried the money and I left the bank and i don't know my dad is always babying me not just me all of us maybe he's thinking that we are still kids so he was looking at me for me to go he didn't want to go to work because he left to work for him to do all that so he was he was waiting for me to leave i was about taking bike for those of you that know motorbike okada they call it okada in nigeria i was about taking okada and he was like no 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 i should not take okada i should take um a taxi and in my head i don't really like taxi i don't like stress i just want motorbike you just be on it and to take you to where you're going to go it's thinking because i'm carrying money because it's not even the first time i'm entering okada this is not the first time i always enter and i like it it's one of the fastest means of transportation in nigeria especially port Harcourt, nigeria so i didn't stop the bike again i had to wait for a taxi to come and he was there still waiting for me to go so I finally found this taxi and I entered I entered the front. I think they had three people at the back and one person at the front because in this part of River State there's some crazy ways they carry people in the taxi. You carry three at the back, two at the front. And it doesn't matter if you are fat or you are slim, you have to still be in that car. And me I'm slim. So I entered the front. I think there was a lady that sat close to me, if I'm not wrong. A lady sat close to me. So we moved and he left for his work. Guys, can you believe that? We didn't even go like five minutes of our journey, or did I even say five minutes? Let's say one minute of our journey. And the lady that was seated close to me was now shouting, My hand, do my hand, my hand, my hand. And I'm this kind of a person where. 
if I if I see that I'm hurting you, I feel so like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, please, oh, please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. All that. So I was like, oh, please, I'm sorry. What did I do? And I and I think I was trying to look at the door, and the hand of the lady was not there. She just pressed her hand like this. I look my hand. I've, I've, I smashed the hand in the car door. I should. I should. Oh, she was just crying. And, she wasn't crying she was just like lamenting and i was feeling bad for my actions so i the driver stopped the car the taxi and they pushed me down and i was still trying to apologize please i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry and they said oh yeah get out she that she would take that she would pay for the front seat for two persons because the front like i said carries two persons at the front with a driver that is three of us so they left and i stopped a different taxi that took me home so the driver along the line the driver was like i hope i hope so you get change i hope i have change and i was like yes because my dad gave me transport money and i put the money in the bag i wish there's something here i could use to demonstrate for her <laughs> guys i'll be right back one eternity later so i placed my hand into the bag and i was trying to bring out the money my dad gave me as transportation and behold it was pure water and obituary paper or magazine or i don't even know how to even call that they put the piota in the magazine or the flyer and they wrap it and it was inside it was soft cord. My senses came back to order. I was like, Jesus. I think that was the first thing I said. I was like, Jesus. I, like, I started screaming in the car. I started screaming in the car and the, guy, the man was like, ah, what did they have? What did they have? I was like jesus my dad gave me money for me to take it home I, the money's not there i chewed i opened the bag and nothing was inside no no even five naira was not inside i was like jesus then my dad is going to kill me that's all just scream my dad is going to kill me and the taxi driver the new taxi driver i entered got to realize that this girl maybe they've they've, they've robbed her or something so he let me go he didn't ask for his fare because i was supposed to pay his, his um from where it took me to my house so when he stopped me at my bus stop i came down and i was just crying my hand was just on my head like this i was just shouting my money oh my dad is gonna kill me my dad is gonna kill me like that was what i was just shouting guys i think it's 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 sounding easier because it it happened a long time and i was able to get over it because like i was crying i was literally crying i didn't even know what to even say what am i going to tell my dad that what happened and he was he told me be careful with this money before he did be careful do you get and all this thing happened within the space of 10 to 20 minutes he just gave me the money i just moved and boom the money is gone so i didn't know how i'm going to explain what has happened to him because ha ah, god so i cried and i went home people that live within that area saw me crying on the road and they're like hey archibong picking archibong what did happen archibong because they call us archibong so like archibong archibong what did happen what did happen they thought maybe some i had an accident or maybe i was raped or something happened to me they feel like archibong what did happen archibong what did happen i could not talk i would just i would just i would just start green. i would just So finally, they made me sit down and then I asked, what did happen? What did happen? What did they happen? What did they happen? People from the work, because we stay close to a working environment. So people in the offices, it it called for attention. Honestly, I did not put up a drama to call anyone's attention. I was just, I was just behaving like any normal person would behave. Someone gave you money to take it home and now the money is no more. Like, even some of you who overreact but this is how i could express that something has happened because i don't know how to to man up or i don't know how to like bottle that thing in that everything's okay so people gathered and i told them what has happened and they shouted so i think someone called my dad and my dad called me he was like i should go inside the house i should i should quickly go into the house because 
he doesn't want that attention attention kind of a thing because it was like everybody was just coming to me and like hey what did happen what did happen guys it was that serious i think maybe the way i'm saying it i'm not saying it well but it was a very serious thing and it, it caused a drama caused a drama i didn't expect that or i didn't that's not what i was expecting but it happened and when my dad came back home that night and i showed him what the money he gave to me what it turned into the man wasn't happy honestly he wasn't happy and so i didn't really understand something because i've been entering taxi it's not like this is the first time i'm entering taxi i've been entering taxi but that particular day just that particular day and i wanted to enter motorbike guys if you remember when i said this i wanted to enter bike and my dad was like i should enter taxi like and I told myself, is it that when something is about to happen, it, it blocks everyone's ear that they don't see that, okay, this would have been, this alternative would have been better because I really wanted to enter bike, but my dad was like, enter um, taxi. And when I entered the taxi, it brought about this stuff. So I am not blaming my dad because he didn't know that this is going to happen, such a thing is going to happen do you get he was just trying to be protective of me because i'm holding that amount of money i could fall from the motorbike and the money and all that and so maybe maybe he had his own reason why he was insisting that i go with the taxi guys it was it was something very crazy and three hundred thousand as at then and we're talking about 2014 here yes some of you may be like 2014 is a long time guys it's a long time but then you don't know what it means for you to lose your heart and money though it wasn't my money but my dad's money is my money so i felt because i was directly involved in this i was even i was involved do you get it happened to me like it was more like these guys took my senses i could not i don't even know what was happening but i could see that the lady's hand was not in the door i didn't press the hand in the door but she was just messing they were just messing with my head i don't know what they did to me and i wished i shouted jesus do you get that is the name i did not mention i didn't mean i mentioned jesus when all this thing was happening i think my senses would have come that these people are trying to take my money and i think by the time i was trying to like oh so you that i put your hand in the door all this time they put their hand in my bag and in my in the in the bag that my dad gave to me took out the money replace it with whatever thing they did and that's what happened because they just wanted to distract me distraction that was how they got at me they just distracted me and when i got distracted they took the money and it wasn't it, it didn't end well so why am i sharing this i'm sharing this for you all out there to be careful of one chance one chance is something i used to watch in movies and i'm like it's not real it's not real and it happened to me and i i'm a living testimony i'm happy they not take my life because some people they might they might make you become stupid like that and kill you take your money and still kill you but i'm happy my life is intact that is what anybody should be concerned because money they say once there's life there's hope you can always get the money back by working hard if it was my life it took i don't think i'll be here sharing my testimony with you so this video is more like a testimony it's more like creating awareness it's more like it's just a whole bunch of things in one and i don't know if this has happened to you before if this has happened to you before please leave a message in the comment section telling us how you're able to survive it guys if you've been able to watch this video up to this point i must say you are my real vvip and i love you so so much if you've not subscribed to my channel at this point guys you are not doing the right thing please click the red button here just here below your screen to subscribe and turn on notifications so whenever i upload a video you'll be the first person to see my upload guys at this point i want to say thank you and see you next time on my next video bye